where you are able to translate your knowledge and theory into actual practice. Right? So it means you are ready with two tools at your disposal. One of those will be the knowledge
the analysis where you find to analyze the case for something based on one side. You are not uh, taking Can you put that into the limit? You don't put that in the limit. Look. Objective analysis is the type of analysis which is based on facts, right? Yes. There could be universal facts. Facts that are agreeable with anybody in that situation. You want to tell me it's the subjective analysis, right? Subjective analysis is an, an, an analysis where you build everything on your perspective, right? Based on your perspective, and we are you, and now we understand the situation. That means subjective. For example, if you look at everybody, you know, uh, who comes here in a dirt road as a rasta and also somebody who does drugs, that judgment will be my judgment and the way I look at it, right? But the truth may be the other side, the other side, right? It would be somebody just interested in that? Yeah. No? Somebody may not be uh, a drug user or something like that. No. But uh, what sometimes makes objectivity different is the context in which situations occur. The context is a generalized view of what people in that circumstance, or in that community, or in that uh, uh, setup, think about a certain thing, something which could be common. Because if you look at it, uh, generalized perceptions, right, or understanding, in the context of how people look at it, who use uh, their dogs, who put on the Rastafari type of gear, or whatever, something like that, people will judge them based on what society thinks they are, even though they are not. Is that true? It is very true. Because I've met great guys, then there's great dogs. They are so, but not try to know nothing when they put on those. But for you, you look at from the general perception in the context in which society may be thinking about those individuals, before that is something to put on. So here we talk about critical thinking socially, we are talking about the objectivity which must accompany your case analysis. When you look at the case analysis, analyze it based on facts, right? That is what you call objectivity. But if you judge that case based on how you look at that case and how you interpret that case as an individual, then you are being subjective. Correct. The other area is the issue of communication. One thing I must emphasize to you now is that social work is a profession which revolves around communication. Right? Social work is about communication. Between yourself as a service provider and your service user. And therefore, if you are a bad communicator, naturally it will be very questionable if you can actually become a very good a social professional. So, another skill you require as a social worker in practice is the communication, effective communication skills. And uh, this requires you as a case worker to be able to communicate with, with your service user by using all forms of communication, right? All forms of communication. And I think you are doing communication skills for You are doing communication skills for social work. And you are doing communication skills for social science. I, I, I hope I'm right. Is it? Okay, so. What are the three types of communication? From your skills lesson. Beautiful.
types of communications that you, I know you have learned this, for social work, for social services. And these types are useful wherever you go. They'll be useful. What? Hmm? They are not the here. They are available and they are available. But 
no care. But the other one, parents arrive a lot of care. The other one, both parents dead, right? and they live with grandparents.
What do we say to do it? Social work practice. Getting ready for practice. Two things on the world and tell us how we will be proceed. Anyone who goes and tell us how we will be proceed. Correct. I will, I will choose uh, the last one. Mm -hmm. okay. I will ask you if you can go to slide number four. Good. Here is the slide number four. No, uh, two, 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 two. Okay, here is the slide number two. Yes. Uh, where my no parents, not brand new, but uh, the, uh, the older one is 8 years old, mm -hmm. which is uh, not uh, <coughs> such capable of taking care of uh, that uh, particular family. So I will go with uh, creating a community environment for individuals functionality. So how do you do it? That question is the how. Yes. Because in the end, you must get your competence and demonstrate. How are you going to do that? Okay. So uh, this family, I'll, I'll try uh, to collect more information and get really uh, prove that these kids, these kids are really staying alone through uh, uh, through uh, asking from the community, uh, and uh, after that, I'll be able to. Uh, I'll be able to make sure that I ask the questions to this eight year old on how she or he is taking care of the, for the kids, if there are no any other support. And uh, after that, uh, I'll be able to ask uh, the parents uh, from um, some social welfare whereby I'll be able to uh, provide. Uh, education uh, for these uh, three kids. Yeah. Oh, for those. Oh, let's see your hands up. That's right. Just what I'm saying. They are saying the other one is three years. Yeah? Mm -hmm. The other one is two, four, six, eight. That means some, the other one is still a baby, so maybe. Can also be good to send a message to another family who is taking care of because a native cannot be able to 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 be What do you do in social work? Okay. Out of all these five, who is most likely to be in serious danger? Like all who? Number one? Number two? Number three? Number four? Number five. Number five. So, out of these, the ones who are likely to be in greater danger will be these children who have no parents, no relations, no nothing, right? Mm -hmm. All they have is their older brother, older sister who is 8 years old, and has another three siblings to take care of. The chances of them falling within those is also very high, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, they will collapse from or something like that. Both parents died. They are orphans. This is okay. If you check this scenario and this scenario, they are the same. Both of them are no parents, right? So we find that the, these two groups are actually uh, are in a similar uh, uh, situation. And they, I think in a similar predicament. The other one here, parents are alive, but they don't care. They are just like, how do you do? Yes, children are there, but parents don't care. The others, children are there, parents are there, and parents care about their children. And also do a home provide for them. In this case, you 
get a cancer, you don't need it, right? Because there's this issue of care. We don't know how much care is there, how they provide that care, but at least we are satisfied that the degree of death is almost zero. Right? Now, then we will be getting there. What I can find here is about. This one, they just as bad. Which has the good care. Yes. yes. But actually, the bad care, we assume they provide some sort of care. But number two is also in there. So you see how we can look at this case. Now the question is, how do you get down to the issue of competence? As mentioned earlier, how do you get down to the issue of competence? That's where now issues of skill and also sort of things come in, right? Technical skill. Technical skill rate is how you translate your knowledge, right, into actual practical interpretation. What I'm trying to do then, we're just trying to analyze the case, right, and choose and find out which one are greater than you, right. But what comes after that, do the actual technical know how on how to uh, design programs to support those individuals there? So this is <coughs> that we do in the case of the So we shall get them when we get to case of the of course, the uh, dinner should have helped us on that, but that is what that do us to and get. Right. So we have all these things there, which are now coming in. And also, issues of what we talk about, issues of regulation, they will also be there and they will be uh, applicable to what we are talking about here. Now, the issue of competence will be dependent on your judgment. Right? How do you arrive at a solution which is going to prevent these individuals from breakdown of this in their home or in their community? How are you going to ensure that the individual's safe world and dignity is respected? So all these things will fall within the uh, view of uh, confidence as the so, what is that actually? Are your essential skills, abilities, and the knowledge that is necessary for you to practice uh, at your social level? And the, the framework which I was supposed to include here, I think I brought it down here, so that the, you can now look at the, what it looks like. Looks like it's your room. Uh, responsibility and accountability. That's what it is. So you have competence framework. We will look at those. It's an area which is very likely to be uh, examined. If I were to bring something, it would be a very good area for uh, examining or testing uh, to check on how you live in Africa. And here, responsibility is about. I will take action and also the decision that you make. Now, this type of characteristic will recognize that uh, as an individual, you also have limitations, right? And therefore, you also must be able to acknowledge your own. And also, you can also see that. What does this mean? Confidence and seek assistance. You talked about the issue of relation of that day, right? Yes, you can wait so much as you, you, you can, but you may reach a point where you actually are not able to proceed because of some lack of some skill in an area uh, that you are trying to deal with. So, this is how uh, it is. Right. Is there a question in the Thank you. 